Your fuel system should be a sealed component when assembled, but any time you introduce outside air and therefore its moisture to your fuel system, it is important that you take the proper precautions to protect and preserve your injectors. You at least have a couple hundred bucks tied up in your injectors, so why would you let them sit and rot away? Alcohol-based fuels attract water and regardless of your type of fuel, it contains at least some ethanol in most cases. Fuel injectors contain ferrous metal parts. A ferrous metal is one that contains iron, making it susceptible to rust when unsheltered from the elements. There are some exceptions like stainless steel, but for the most part, a ferrous metal will rust if left exposed. The bigger the injector, the more ferrous the metal is to create the magnetic field needed to properly operate the injector, making it more prone to rusting. You see where this is going, right? Your fuel draws in water from the air, and your injectors contain bare metal parts that are prone to rusting. If you're running E85, your fuel contains much more ethanol and is at a higher risk for rusting parts. Regular pump gas contains up to 10% ethanol, which still poses a possible rusting problem. You need to clean, lubricate, and seal the injectors if you know they're going to be out of the sealed system. We start by removing the fuel injectors from your application. In my case, it's only three bolts, a feed line, a return line, and a few electrical connections. Here, I have my injectors, some non-chlorinated brake cleaner, WD-40, this homemade injector cleaner, a retaining bracket, some number 78 O-rings that seal the injector to the tool, a 9 volt battery, a push button, some alligator clip leads, a collection container, some Ziploc bags, and your air source regulated to 20 PSI. We remove the injector seals and o-rings so that they are not damaged during the cleaning and pickling process. We will use these cheap rubber o-rings to seal the injectors to the tool. They are available in various sizes at your local hardware store. When it comes to the injector harness, you just need a switch to pulse the injector, but the polarity is irrelevant. The injector operates off a magnetic coil and it just needs a ground and a power source to work. To clean the injectors, we load the injector cleaner with some non-chlorinated brake cleaner. Supply the air source regulated to 20 PSI. and then connect the injector. Install your safety hold down bracket to keep the injector from becoming a projectile and hook up your push button injector harness. Now open the ball valve and pulse the brake cleaner through the injector using your push button. Make sure you relieve the pressure by closing the ball valve before disconnecting the injector. This same process is repeated for the remaining injectors to clean and remove any remaining fuel. Now blow some air through the tool to ensure you remove all the brake cleaner. Next up, 
It's time to pickle the injectors using WD-40. This process is the same, except you fill the tool with WD-40 instead of non-chlorinated brake cleaner. I attempted to use a smaller container to make collection easier. But you definitely need something with more weight than a water bottle. I apologize for the horrible placement of the paper towel. I had no clue that the contrast would prevent you from seeing the fluid leaving the injector. Now that your injectors are properly pickled with WD-40, you need to seal them away from the atmosphere and its moisture. A couple of clean Ziploc bags will serve you well for this purpose. I am not venturing out into uncharted waters here, I'm just showing you my method for using information that's already out there. A big thanks goes out to Fuel Injector Clinic for publishing their injector care information. Happy boosting!